guys welcome back to my channel in this video I'm going to show you how to get this look right here and I revolved it around the modern renaissance palette and in particular I used the shade antique bronze and this is what I came up with revolving the look around antique bronze and I love it um antique bronze it's like a shimmery kind of copper it's like cool tone copper I'll swatch it for you so this is antique bronze right there. So it's kind of like a copper, but cool tone, not, um, doesn't really have any uh, warm undertone. So let's just say a cool or neutral toned copper. So that's how I got this look. And if you are curious what is on my lips, this is Jeffree Star Laura Liquid Lipstick in the shade Dominatrix. But if you don't have this one, um, NYX, uh, lingerie in the shade Teddy really works well. This is a cool tone brown. And then I have the Milani matte lipstick in, or no, it's not matte, just the Milani lipstick in Double Espresso number 38. Anyway guys, if you want to know how to get this look, then keep on watching. As usual, I already have one eye done, and I've been on a no falsies kick lately, so no falsies in this look. So let's work on the next eye. For my transition color, I'm going in with Golden Ochre and applying that above my crease. And this shade is super light on my skin tone, so you're not going to really see it, but it's going to help blend out Red Ochre, which I'm going to apply into my crease. And I'm going to build this color up slowly with a fluffy brush. So I apply it at first, and then I'm going to take a bigger fluffy brush and br blend it up into Golden Ochre, and then reapply that color directly into my crease. These pigments are super super intense so make sure you take your time and slowly build up the color next I'm going to go in with antique bronze on a flat brush and I'm going to put that on my outer and inner corner of my lid leaving a space in the middle because we are going to have a halo effect so I'm bringing that all the way up into my crease and then going to take my crease color which was red ochre and blend the two sides together and I applied some translucent powder just to keep that outer corner from going crazy. Then in the center, I'm applying Vermeer and I'm applying this with a wet brush. And then I'm gonna take Antique Bronze and make seamless edges around Vermeer. Just make sure that the look is cohesive and there's not any stark lines. It creates a nice gradient effect on the lid. So I'm just going back and forth with my crease colors, red ochre and golden ochre, and using that translucent powder to soften up the edges of this look. For my brow bone highlight, I'm going in with tempura, and that's going to go right below my brow. And then once again, just blend that out to make sure that this look is seamless. For my bottom lash line, I'm going in with my Maybelline Lasting Drama in the shade brown. Then I'm going to smudge that out with antique bronze and red ochre. Then of course apply my bottom lash mascara, which is my MAC Extended Play. And then for my inner corner highlight, I'm going in with Becca Opal. But this is the final look. On my lips, I have Jeffree Star Cosmetics Vlor Liquid Lipstick in the shade Dominatrix. And I really like how this look turned out. Of course, if you wanted it to be more dramatic, you could add a wing liner and smoke out your bottom lash line a little bit more, but I like how wearable this is. It's super easy to accomplish and a beautiful halo for brown eyes. Okay guys, that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, give me a big thumbs up and press the subscribe button down in the description box so you don't miss any more content from me. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!